We've been travelling for the last two days from our chateau in Normandy to South Tyrol in the Italian Alps to visit Philip's family. Once reunited with Omer and after a good night's sleep, we were ready to head into the mountains. Did you find one? Yes, I found one. It's uh, in my bag. Four euros. Because here, to go up on the cable car, we need yeah. a muzzle. It's also good for the children. One for each child. Now you look like Hannibal Lecter, Lily. Not that you know who that yes. is. Yes. How does it go yes. on? Just around his... Uh... Yeah. Does it go on like this? Yeah, like this. Ziggy, <laughs> still. So we are just about to go up the funicular up to a beautiful mountain with the Ritten. But we figured out that actually Ziggy needed to have a muzzle to be able to go on the funicular, so... No, 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 leave it, leave it. From this small town called Oberbozen, we hop on a little train, and I can hardly imagine public transport in a more idyllic setting than this. We are following a trail dedicated to Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis. He spent many holidays here at the beginning of the 1900s. Look, there's a plaque in honor to Sigmund Freud and Jung, two of my favorite intellectual heroes. Dear friend, your letter came on a beautiful happy day and has further raised my spirit. Here on the written, it is divinely beautiful and comfortable. I have discovered in myself an inexhaustible desire to do nothing. And I hate to think that the beginning of next month will bring me back to hard labor. Yours ever, Freud. They, they have this understanding humanity, the bright and the dark side, like nobody else. Well, except me, maybe, but nobody listens to me. Freud's silver wedding in a village down the road.
Yeah. What do you think, Anna? Should we move here? Yeah, but I think uh, it would cost more than the Chateau if we wanted to buy one of these houses. <laughs> House. Ziggy. Ooh. What's gonna happen? The Ziggy cow encounter. Look, 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 she's coming. She's coming. <laughs> what is it? Why don't you move? Are you frozen? I'll let you film, all right? Yes! I said film, not act. Uh. Okay, you need to take the camera. I take the sticks. I don't want to walk anymore. I want to go home now. How far is it to the playground? Can I have an ice cream? I'm bored. Who am I? you Ella. No, you. <laughs> I've always wondered, what do those numbers mean? Every year, we are dating the door. Okay. And we are writing down C, M and B, which is Caspar, Melchior, Balthasar, the three holy kings. And it's a good luck for the house. It was last signed in 2018 by the looks of it. Exactly. And what happened? Covid. Ah. Uh -huh. Yep. I must say they have quite a spectacular view. It's stunning. As you can imagine, when we are back in South Tyrol in Italy, we enjoy the local cuisine, the delicious wines, and you might ask how I managed to keep in such good physical shape. As a matter of fact, the only reason I don't show you my six-pack right now is not to upset your husband. Is it my young age, my impressive daily exercise routine, or my particularly lucky genetics? Yes, all of these play their part, but for some time now, I also have a secret weapon called Noom which helps you to create healthy habits for your physical and mental well-being and also happens to be this week's ad. I've heard about Noom before and when they reached out to us, I must admit I was quite intrigued to try it out. Noom's experience is personalized, so you set it up with an evaluation. I said that I wanted to lose about eight pounds, of course, only to find out what it would suggest to somebody else who really needed to lose eight pounds, which is definitely not my case. Anyways, Noom is based on behavioral and cognitive science. It helps you learn how your mind works in order to identify bad habits and then guides you towards more thoughtful and sustainable choices. There's also an easy way to count your calorie intake. You just click what you ate, for example, four slices of bread, butter, two tablespoons of honey or whatever. And at the end of the day, it adds them up and you can compare it to your estimated daily calorie needs. I found out early on that I wasn't drinking nearly enough. Noom taught me all the benefits of drinking enough. It makes me track my water intake and now I have a little daily fun challenge. There's much more to Noom, and if this interests you, click the link below or go to noom.com slash htrack to take a free Noom evaluation. And now, back to the land of plenty. Okay guys, Philip, where are we heading? We're going to Rome, and look at this cool train. It's a very so fast train. Excited. Are you excited, Lily? Yes. Is it faster than Ziggy? Yes. Yeah, we've left Ziggy with Omar, haven't we, for the week? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna have fun. 
On our way to our Airbnb, we get the first impressions of this incredible city. The mix of beauty and disorder, classical architecture and modern urban chaos makes Rome so unique. Philip. Mm. We finally managed to find a place. We can't access it yet because it's a bit early. But we find a nice wine bar that also has food for the kids. And we got this fermented Italian white wine. So you're really happy? I'm happy because it's a new, new wine experience. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to our little Rome holiday. It's overwhelming as you walk through the cobbled streets and everywhere you look, there are monuments, statues and fragments of history. We stumbled across churches with paintings by masters, like this Caravaggio in the Church of San Luis. The 2,000-year-old Colosseum made for gladiator fights, animal exhibitions, public executions and shows. The steps and squares of the Capitoline Hill, a Renaissance gem designed by Michelangelo himself, or the Fountain of Rivers by Bernini, a masterpiece of Italian Baroque sculpture. these monuments would be in any other capital, they would build a museum around it to protect and showcase it. But Rome in itself is a giant open-air museum. The sites are endless and you could spend months discovering this city. As for Anna and I, we were both so inspired, we could spend hours in each street studying the details of the buildings. We enjoy showing and sharing as much as we can with our girls, but there's only so much a four and seven year old can take before we have to resort to ice cream and pizza to keep them happy. Philip, I thought the hinges on our doors were pretty old and impressive, but look at this. That's some kind of contraption there for opening. It's a shame for the graffiti though. Yeah, shame about the graffiti. Italian breakfast, coffee and Cornetto with pistachio cream. I don't think so. Because I want to eat it all by myself. No. Yes? I really like it. It's a pity that you ordered chocolate. Don't look at me like that. One of the most impressive buildings is the Pantheon. 
It's considered the biggest building of the antiquity in such good condition. We are finally going into the Pantheon. This is the third attempt. To walk into the Pantheon? Yeah. Because two times there was a massive queue, the other time it was shut. It's a structural masterpiece. There's no larger roof structure known before the invention of reinforced concrete. This massive dome has survived thousands of years thanks to an ingenious engineering using light volcanic stone right at the top. It used to be a temple for the gods of antiquity, but it was spared by later generations as it was transformed into a Christian church. There's water coming in. In the middle of the city lies the Forum Romanum, a gigantic excavation site, once a crowded meeting place, with governmental buildings, statues and temples, the heart of ancient Rome. With the girls in tow, we decided not to explore further this time and headed instead to a museum near the train station. Philip, yeah? I've just spotted a future career for you, if it doesn't work out with the vlogs. What do you think? Why, why that? It's orange and pipes. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like it. This is familiar to you, isn't it? It is. This is the famous fresco from the Villa Livia and it was my biggest inspiration when I did our own mural for the downstairs washroom. And it's incredible just to be here and see it in real. I wonder how they managed to take it off the walls and bring it here without breaking it. Who knows? By magic, I think. Which is true. But why are we on the train again and where are we going? It is a family trip. We're going to visit a very nice seaside resort, which is the seaside resort for the Roman people. And I thought it was interesting to show you where the Romans go. So that's the only reason that we're going? Well, there's also a harbour with boats. And by chance, absolutely by chance, there happens to be a boat. I'm interested in for sale. That's it. I feel like maybe your boat obsession has got a bit out of hand, Philip. Why? because now our holidays are based around coming to look at boats. <laughs> this here. For obvious reasons, I can't show you more of the boat. But for those who are interested, it's an Italian make, a bit older than 20 years, 43 foot long and simply stunning. I truly hope I can show you more of it in the near future, but there's a little bit of wife convincing involved. As for the girls, they are already on my side. This is a yeah. size I was thinking, you know, something like this. The, the police boat? Yeah. Yeah. I think you're the first wife who wants a smaller boat than the husband. And what do you think about the boat? I actually really like it. Did you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm happy. Not sure how we're gonna be able to buy it, but it's we'll nice to dream. Out. I feel excited. It's a similar feeling to the day when we visited our chateau. I think it's a good sign because it means that we soon will have a boat. Last day in Rome. It was a great trip. It was a great trip. Cheers. Cheers, my love. And to the new boat. What new boat? We got carried away in Rome and filmed more than we could fit in this vlog, but we've uploaded a bonus video on our Patreon page. So, if you'd like to join us on a visit of the stunning Villa d'Este with its Renaissance gardens, please check out the link in the description of this video. 
Hope you enjoyed coming along with us and thank you so much for watching. 